Hi everyone, so in this video we're going to look at whistleblowing as it relates to engineers and other professionals. Whistleblowing is defined as raising a concern about wrongdoing within an organization. So as an engineer, why should or shouldn't you whistleblow? There are two reasons you should. You have a duty of care to the public and you have a right to disclose wrongdoing. However, it is important that you always understand the situation with any pros and cons. What are the different types of whistleblowing? There are two, internal and external. Internal is disclosure to your internal colleagues, such as your manager. External whistleblowing involves the media or some other public avenue. So, what are the risks? Your reputation can be damaged, hurting further opportunities. It can damage your working relationships. It can also do damage to your profession. And in extreme situations, it could lead to civil and or criminal charges. In every case, it is important to always, always first consider the safety of the public. And now, an example. Hey Tim, what are you doing? I'm building a bomb. What? Isn't that dangerous? I should tell someone. Uh, So what could have been different? What if he had blown the whistle on his colleagues' dangerous activities? Hey Tim, what are you doing? I'm building a bomb. That's dangerous. Manager! Hey, what's going on over here? Wait, Tim, is that a bomb? What are you doing? You know what? That's enough. Get out. Tim, you're fired. Get out. No! No! <laughs> Here are some tips on how to whistleblow. First, determine if whistleblowing is justified in your situation. Second, approach a colleague and explore internal methods for disclosing the issue. Lastly, if there are no results from internal channels, explore external options such as the media. In conclusion, if you think the public is in danger, make sure you choose the most effective way to let somebody know. So that's everything for now. Thanks very much for watching. Bye-bye. See you next time.